Opus Clip versus Video for Realtors. Which tool is gonna be better for integrating into our business model? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlie Cameron, a real estate agent and a team leader, and I want to share with you today what I've learned from playing around with both video and Opus Clip on my journey to put out a lot more content as a real estate agent. And I want to just share with you what I've learned, which one I think is far better, the pros and cons of each, and just a quick tutorial of how to use each. If you want to learn more about dominating your market as a realtor through video content creation, be sure to subscribe and be sure to check the links below for a free comprehensive guide on video content creation and AI for agents, as well as a free community and links to free trials to both Opus Opus Clip and video. So the two tools we're talking about today are Opus Clip as well as video.ai. Both of these are AI video choppers is what I call it and what I refer to it to my team. So what they're meant to do is create branded clips with great captions and B-roll and emojis that feels very professional, as well as take long form video and cut it up into short form video. So say a podcast or a long form YouTube video and turn that into lots of different clips that you can repurpose and use across your social media platforms. Now for realtors, we're not gonna have podcasts. We're really gonna have two main pieces of content and what, that's what I use these tools for. And that's taking YouTube videos and turning that into a bunch of shorts that I can have as daily postings for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Reels, as well as taking videos that I shoot of just short form content, tall form video, and uploading it here and getting the branded captions done for me. So I don't have to really think about, okay, now let me use CapCut, do, 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 record the video. So I just record the videos, I upload them all to a drive, I run them all through here so that every video that goes on my short form has the same feel of brand of mostly captions, logos, emojis, those kind of things. So let's play with both of these tools so you'll understand what I mean when I'm going through the pros and cons. For both these tools, when you log in, the dashboard is right where you upload your videos. For Opus, you can use a YouTube link, you can use a Google Drive link, which is cool. And you simply just drag a file where you want it. If you're not using one of those links, you can just drag it it'll upload. So once uploaded, you'll get a screen like this. Now keep in mind that these tools essentially work off a credit usage and it's by number of minutes of processing essentially. So if you have a five minute video, it's gonna use five minutes of processing. So if you have really long videos, like hour long ones, that's gonna take up a lot of processing time. But for those of us who have five to 10 minute YouTube videos or one to three minute shorts, it's not gonna take up a lot of processing time at all. We'll talk about how much you get by package once we look at the tools a little bit. But in Opus, once you've uploaded that video, it's gonna tell you how many minutes it uses. If I have, let's say, 45 seconds of outro footage for my YouTube video, and I don't want that to be included in my credit, if I get this down to under four minutes, it's only gonna use four minutes of credit usage versus five. And now you can pick your preferred clip length. I usually like to pick 30 to 60 to make sure my videos can go on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Reels. If I want to make a longer video specifically for TikTok, I would just film that right there on CapCut or on my phone versus taking it from YouTube. But so this is meant to just get a lot of clips out very quickly. So we're going to hit 30 to 60 seconds. And if you want to try and hit specific keywords, if you put that in there, it's going to try and find clips that are centered around those. When you go ahead and click get clips, it's going to take a minute to process. So it's going to tell you, hey, it's going to take mm, 20 minutes. It will definitely not take that long. If you go back out, you're going to see it's here and it's got a little processing timer on it. It'll probably take half that time. If I check back in six minutes, I bet it'll be ready. Now for video importing, it's the same kind of thing. You log in, it looks like this. We would just hit up import video. It'll give you links that you can use for that. Or we can just drag the video I was going to drag in anyway. Boom upload one file and I'm not gonna add my handles to the bottom though I guess you could if you would like to and now it's gonna process my video so it's still uploading you can see that here it's giving you that kind of indication marker there now you may have noticed for video there was not an option to reduce the amount of clip that you're actually focused on to use less credits so that's one thing to consider. Okay, we've now had both tools upload the videos and process them both of them took less than 10 minutes or so so if we go back to Opus Clip, you'll see there's not a waiting timer anymore. And on video, you can actually see the file. So for Opus, if we open it up, what it's going to do is it's going to create a number of clips per video. I actually created quite a few for only a five minute video to create six clips is, is pretty extraordinary. But what it'll do is it'll give you all these previews and it'll score them. 
and it'll tell you why it scores them. Hey, this one starts with an attention grabbing hook. It'll say this hook provides a clear direction for viewers. And the content flows logically from one point to another, which is kind of cool. So, and it, so it'll give you these previews and you can click on each video to start listening to them. Number two, we promise that if you use all the partners that we recommend from lender to title to inspectors, people we've worked with for years, Right, so you can preview each of these, and if you start listening to one, it'll Research. it'll stop one and go to the other. And you have the option here to say, hey, you know what? This one was terrible. If you do this, um, it'll it'll actually hide it, which you can always undo it if you wanted to. And then you can heart some of these because if you if you decide like, oh, you know what? I love this one. I love this one. Let's say you have a virtual assistant built into your process, you could just have them upload it. They can send you the link to all these files. You can come in here and say, I like this one, I like this one, right? And then get out and then let them finish the rest. But you know, if you were to do this yourself, you would simply go in here, you go to edit clip and you have a number of options here. You have both the caption side. So this is a script like editor, which I absolutely love these now. I love that this is a thing now. And it gives you the ability to take words out, take sections out, you can bring words back in. You can start the sentence here. You can end the video here, you can, Respell. So these will be what your captions are. So this says B A. It's meant to be B A H. This is kind of cool. We could even say, oh, show you how to reduce your interest rate. So we could add an emoji with like, maybe we can do a down arrow. Boop. All right. So now we're adding an emoji to the screen, which is cool. But you can see it auto added emojis, it auto highlighted words, and it gives you that really kind of professional feel. Reduce your interest rates and therefore your mortgage payments with multiple great options available today and even have the seller pay for it so that you can live well even in today's market. And yes, for military members, we can get it within VA. We will work with you. So cut that a little bit, but I do love that this makes a YouTube video look like a professional shorts video and it was meant to be that way, right? So this is awesome with these these captions here. And then you can you can do all sorts of things with the designs of the video. You can make the, you could do zoom in effects, zoom out effects. You can split this up and like, let's say we wanted to have a section here where this section is more zoomed in. Now this is already a pretty zoomed in video, so I probably wouldn't do that here, right? But you can do those kind of semi fancy zoom effects without getting soup without having to have a full editing tool because this is not a full video editor this is a captioning tool that can smartly take long videos and turn it into a bunch of shorts it does have the auto emojis function which i love and i love adding a few extras in there the auto intro caption i don't love it'll be at the beginning it comes up with one it's usually too long it usually isn't great we can change it but you can't move it you can't change the style the other thing you can't do in here yet is add your own text, but you can add logo images. I wouldn't add it to this because my head is too big in this video, but I have like slide share YouTube videos that I do use on here and I add a logo up top because the slides are so small, it adds something to the space. Now, one of my favorite features is that you can have multiple templates. So I have two different branded channels and I'm able to just swap back and forth. I can pick a default, you know, my military home team, team channel, or I can have a screen share style, which might have my logo on it, or I can go to my other channel and use that. And it's got a different style of text. It's got different style of highlighted colors and it'll give you those same captions. Virus, we're going right? to show so you how to reduce video, your interest rates, but and the therefore caption your mortgage style is different. And so you can kind of get into more details of the captions by selecting this down arrow here and you can change the text, you can go to one line. So there's a lot of flexibility in here. You can change the style, pop, scale, slide left, slide up. So there's a lot you can do with the captions. Multiple great options right now available slide today. Slide up instead of karaoke. So all the text types, colors, fonts, you name it, it's there, which is kind of cool. So you, you have really a lot of flexibility in here. And then one thing they just added, which is funny because before I was making this video and I was planning it, I was like, no, they don't have this and I wish they did. And I put a little star next to it saying, I bet it's coming out. They have it now. So they have beta auto B-roll. So if we do this, it's gonna take a second and it's gonna add B-roll. B-roll is just relevant type images or video that get thrown into or overlaid on top of whatever your, your feature video is. And it's meant to just enhance things and help keep the viewer's interest. So this takes a little bit of time to generate. You could set this up so that your videos automatically have this. So this would be in the front end processing time instead of me doing it right now. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna start at the beginning. 
For buyers, we're gonna show you how to reduce your interest rates and therefore your mortgage payments with multiple great options of fit within BA. We will work with you to find the perfect home in your price range so that you can okay, live so that, the best that home video your didn't life work out so well. For sellers, we'll also use creative and exclusive methods to market and sell your right home. Video. For buyers, we will pay for your home warranty. That's definitely not the right video. So you can see there's, it's still in beta. You can see there's some work to be done here. I do like this footage. So as you can see, we can delete B-roll. For sellers, we'll also use creative. We can change the B-roll. So we may come here and say, I don't know, home for sale. Let's search. Let's pick a different one. Uh, I don't know, maybe that one, sure. We'll also use creative and exclusive That's kind of fun, right? to market and sell your home. And the other thing you could do with this B-roll is you could put it smaller, right? You could you could have it be, you know, down below or up above or, or whatever it may be. For sellers, we'll also use creative and now, exclusive ooh, that's methods. Fun. So it's still a work in progress. I'm not currently using this functionality really um, because I don't want it to be t so weird that it distracts, but they're working on it and it's gonna get better. And when you're done with the clip, you can either download it right here, you can go into the clip, and if you've made changes, you'll have to hit save and compile and it'll take a few minutes to implement those changes. Simply hit download and there you have it. You can take it to your platform. So last thing I wanna say about Opus before we jump to video is just that you can change your templates over in the brand templates section. And in here, you just pick which brand you want to edit. You can change it around in here by opening up all the settings and changing everything in here. And then you can pick which one is going to be your default. With video, same style of thing, we can hit review clips. A little bit different of an interface here, and it's going to pick its own templates. For some reason, it doesn't apply the templates that I have, but we're going to go ahead and edit this video. And I'm going to go to my templates and actually apply my template. So I've got two built in here, one for screen share and one more as like a regular template. And you can see it went ahead and came up with a um, intro text. The nice thing about video is you can add additional text anywhere in the video, which is cool. I would maybe make this just a few seconds. We could come in here and change the style of everything for the text as well. We can, of course, update our subtitles. There is a much larger template database to choose from in here. But again, I think you're going to end up picking one or making one and then using that as one of your templates. And the cool thing here is that you do have a lot more flexibility with B-roll footage. So we could add pictures. We could move them around. We could set them for a specific time in the video. We would just come in here and change how much time that it is displayed for. We can also upload our own files, which is cool. You have a little bit more editing functionality with video than you do with Opus, but not nearly as much as you would have with something like CapCut or Descript. You can also add B-roll video, which is always great. Adds a lot to a video. It adds some a of our unique professional resources. quality we to it. And one cool thing that video has that Opus does not is this progress bar down here, or we can move it around, we can make it thicker. We can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. Um, it can be in the middle, it can be at the top. We can change the color, all that kind of stuff, which is cool. It's also got logo, outro video capability if you had an outro for your shorts, which I don't really recommend. You do have the ability to have video try and generate a description for you and hashtags for you by platform. I would absolutely make sure that you've gone in and checked those hashtags and make sure they're actually legit for that platform. Most likely they're not the best ones to pick. You may have to go into that platform and as you post a few videos, you'll understand which hashtags you're gonna wanna use for that specific market area and then that specific platform. So the ones that are great on TikTok may not be the ones that are great on Reels. So I recommend just making a note on your phone and having those for each platform, you'll know what they are. Or if you're using something for repurposing your videos, you can actually set hashtags in a specific way. So again, check that guide because I'm gonna show you how to use another tool to then push your videos from TikTok to the other platforms, but change your hashtags when that's done, which is kind of cool. And when you're done editing a video in video, you can save the draft and then you can download the video and it doesn't show the save and compiling, but it's doing the same thing. It's, it's doing the compiling when you hit download. And so it takes a minute for that download to actually happen. Now that we've seen both tools, let's talk about the pros and cons of Opus and video from a real estate content creator perspective. So for Opus, it's cheaper than video. 
So right off the bat for realtors who have a ton of tools that we always seem to have more of and have to pay for, that's great. It also seems that for long form videos, it just does a better job of creating short form videos from that that are just better for short form platforms. I'm not sure why, that's just been my feeling of it. It can also cut scripts in the middle of a video. So let's say you have a 60 second script and there's a sentence in there that you really don't want for the short, you can cut that out just editing the script. On video, you have start to finish and that's it. You can't really change what's in the middle, at least not yet. For Opus, you've got the editor and designer that's a little bit more friendly. Everything is just a little bit easier to use out of the box and it's a lot simpler and cleaner. And I just like that. And it also has that new automated and editable B-roll, though as we saw, and that's one of the cons, the B-roll is definitely still in beta and it shows. Another con of Opus is that you can't add text besides the captions, which is okay because you can use CapCut or you could use TikTok. You could create text in any of those platforms, and it will carry over from one to the next if you're using a tool to push video from one to the next. And then we saw the auto intro caption is pretty much useless. I don't know why they even have that feature. And then on video, it's a little bit more expensive. The pros are you can add your own B-roll images and video you can choose from the stock footage that they have in there, or you can upload your own, which is great. In Opus, you only have the ability to upload your logo, but in video, you have the ability to upload and change your own B-roll and how long it lasts and where it is, which is pretty cool. But for video, the emoji function, which I didn't show is pretty much useless. It's really dumb. It doesn't look good. It looks really terrible compared to Opus. And the B-roll isn't automated, which as we saw, that's not that useful yet, but I guarantee that both these platforms are working on improving both of those aspects, the B-roll, the text and captions. And I would think that Video is probably gonna be working on making their pricing more competitive compared to Opus. Now they both offer about the same amount of processing time with the initial subscription, which is three hours, which for real estate professionals, that should be plenty unless you're doing a lot of podcasts and trying to break those down. They also both offer templated designs. Highly, highly recommend you go in there and do that right from the get-go so that you're just set up for success and you don't have to like figure out and change things because it's gonna be way easier if you can just pick your templates and run with it. And then for posting the platforms, they both just recently came out with the ability to post right to TikTok, Reels, and YouTube. I don't personally do that or recommend it. I recommend posting manually in TikTok and then using repurpose.io to push those to the other platforms. Again, that guy below is gonna have videos on exactly how to set that up for success. And there's some nuances to it, so definitely check that out. This last graphic is something I got from the Opus Discord support channel, which just shows you how many clips are created per minute of video. And it's roughly around one clip per minute, though it kind of tapers off as the videos get longer and longer. So my pick between Opus Clip and Video AI is going to be Opus Clip all day long. It's just easier to use, it's a little less expensive, and I just love it. Don't forget to check the description for links on free trials, as well as the comprehensive guide and community on creating video content, as well as AI for real estate agents. If you got some value out of this video, please give it some love, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.